Welcome to knowledge clip number 9, the results of a scientific article. Following the method section, the study was carried out. And in the results section, you will find uh, an objective representation of what has been found. So the focus lies on the key findings or the outcomes regarding the research question. And therefore, the results follow logically on the method section. Similar to the method section, each study design knows different rep representation of results. For instance, in a quantitative study design, you expect information about the participants. Who were they? How many were there? What were their characteristics? The main findings are presented in tables or graphs, such as the examples in the slide. In a qualitative study design, there's also information about the participants, but the main findings are presented in themes generated from the focus groups or interviews. Themes are supported with citations from the interviews, so that's your actual data. The results section of a systematic review does not involve participants, but articles. So you will probably find a flowchart which leads to the articles included in the study. In the data extraction table, the main findings of these articles are presented. After the data extraction, there is a synthesis of all articles, which will eventually lead to the answer of the research question. So based on this knowledge clip, you should be able to understand that uh, the results section is consistent with the method section, that results are different for each study design, and that you should be able to understand which design was used based on the results you see in the scientific article. Good luck!